A thermostat my mom recommended that stalks you. Your favorite coffee company reuses storage containers. The common mouse goes battery free. A scooter hides in your backpack. And NASA shows us the good and the bad of our planet as seen from space. Welcome to a very special Green Tech Weekly! Welcome back to the greenest tech on the web. This is our very special, completely interactive show number 20. Looks like the new set's almost done, Scott. Yep, and I love my new desk. Me too. Oh, and if you want to see the non-interactive show and just want to watch the tech news, click here. Disclaimer, this will only work on our YouTube webpage. If you click anything, it will take you to that page. If you get lost while clicking anything, Green Tech Weekly is not responsible to get you back. Also, this only works on a PC or Mac, but it will not work on an iOS or Android device for some reason. Don't play with us, play them. On with the show. The Nest thermostat is a smart little device that will learn from our habits. After doing some basic programming, you can set the temperatures you want over the course of a week. As it learns your schedule, it'll set itself and save you energy. After the eighth day, it knows what you like and starts sending itself based on your schedule. One of the cool features is it'll show you a small leaf when it's saving you energy and money. As the seasons change, all you have to do is change the temp again and after eight days, it'll know your new routine. The first batch of these are sold out even though they cost 250 bucks, but if you head over to their website, see the ink on the show notes? You can sign up for them to let you know when you can get one. I want one. Scott and I don't drink coffee. I do! What? <sighs> <laughs> but most of you do out there, and more than likely you drink your coffee on the go. And I bet most of them get it from Starbucks because it seems like there's one on every corner. From the looks of this next story, they must be running out of building materials because they are starting to use storage containers to make their drive throughs You mean like the house I want? Yep. This drive through in Tukwila, Washington is built using only shipping containers that were used to ship their coffee around the world. The four containers also have environmental facts printed across them. Starbucks hasn't said if they are going to roll this out to other cities, but as you know, they don't actually have every corner yet. Next up, this genius wireless mouse doesn't have a battery, but still runs all day on a charge. Wait, does that mean it runs on a gold double layer capacitor? What the what? The ultra capacitor. Oh, that's better. Yep, those tiny little super battery replacements from the future replace the need for batteries in this wireless DX Eco mouse. The best benefit of this swap is the mouse takes only three minutes to charge for a day of use. And this isn't a simple mouse either. With the blue eye sensor, you can use it on everything from marble to carpet or even your couch. It also has an adjustable DPI of 800 or 1600 if you want to use it for gaming or photo editing. If you can track one down, they'll be about 40 bucks. This concept design is a cool backpack with a scooter added on. Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was a scooter with a backpack added on. I thought it was a chicken. What? Huh? Either way, it's a cool design. The Gustavo Brinks Gig Pack is a collapsible scooter that straps onto a backpack, making it easy to carry around until needed. Think of zipping between meetings at the office or from the bus stop to home without having to carry a full-size scooter. Of course, this is a concept, but we can always hope, right? So here's the bad news. Recent NASA images from its aqua satellite of China's North Plain on January 10th show a pollution haze covering thousands of square miles from Beijing and south to the bay. The haze is made from 10 and 2.5 micrometer dust, soot, and liquid drops from burning fuel and coal. As you can see, it's highly reflective, making it easy to see from space when it collects in higher concentrations. This haze drops the areas of visibility to less than 200 meters, canceling 43 flights at the capital's airport and delaying almost 80 more. Yuck! Yuck is right. This recent release from NASA took them six years to collect. Resident smart guys Josef Kallendorfer and Wayne Walker of Woods Hole Research Center worked with the National Geological Survey and the U.S. Forest Service to count trees. They collected data from computer models to satellite sensors and even space-based radar. 
They even sent some unfortunate person out to count some the old fashioned way. Poor guy. Yeah. This map shows the total amount of woody biomass in the US. The image on their site is shown at the 30 meter resolution, meaning that every four pixels is an acre. So, how many trees do we have in the US? They say we have a total of about 5 million trees. Whoa! Including the one planted in my honor at the local park. It's near the Red Bay! Yay! Oh, okay, sorry. That's another show. For all the links to the stories and images that we mentioned, check out the links below or head over to greentechweekly.tv. And remember to find us on Google+. Google! Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter! That doesn't work very well. But Jared got to say something. Click here for a random blooper scene. And about our updates. Sorry there haven't been more updates recently, but we've been a little busy. But, as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! Da, 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 rethink it green! I'm gonna get you a can. Say it, I'm gonna get you a can. I'm gonna get you a can. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Dang it. Wrong. So, I'll get this light over here. Oh, you guys are still here? So we need show sponsors. Hit us up in the notes or the link on our website if you want to be our sponsor. Thanks. See you around. <laughs>